What's going on YouTube? In this tutorial, I just want to talk about this fun little function, the t function in Excel. And the t function, it basically just checks to see whether something is text or not. And if it is text, it returns a text. But if it's not text, then it returns a double quote, which is empty text. So equals t open parentheses, kind of show you how its function works. So this function only has one argument. That's a value that they would, wait, you need to pass into it, right? So for example, we could reference the cell d6. In close parentheses, which contains a 1, if you pass in a 1, it returns blank. If you pass in the word apple, it returns the word apple. If pass in testing, this new function also returns sex. The number 1 returns 3, the number 3 returns blank, sorry, blank, blank. And then, but number 4 returns the number 4. Why is that? Well, as you can see, this number 4 is formatted as text, and this is not. Number 3 is not, so. The error in A returns the error in A, but a date will return blank. Now, now we're thinking, like, why is this helpful? Well, one interesting use case of this function is to is to uh, being able to quickly and easily filter things that are text and things that aren't text. So we can make this into a table. So we can hide the range, Control T. Yes, my table has headers. Click OK, and now we can easily see. Okay, well, what's everything that's text? Well, see everything that is text, we can just filter out the blanks. Now you have everything that's text in the table. Or we can see the things that's not text by just selecting the blanks. Now we have a list of everything that was in our data that, that was not formatted as text. So going back a bit, you can also nest this in an if function so if you can be like if this is t6 if this equals blank you can say not not you can say not text or you can reference the cell for example okay and now as you can see this re because t6 returned blank it says it's not text but the word apple re re return text and copying and pasting this down Things that weren't text return not text, and things and things that were text return the text. But what's most important is that by nesting this in an if function, you can use whatever text functions or calculations you want to do, nested within the in function inside the if function, instead of not text um, or whatever text function you want to use inside of the, um, inside of the cell reference right here. So yeah, I said, hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you so much for watching. You have a fantastic day.